Hello everyone and welcome back to Minecraft with Black Shoes, which is changing. Sorry, Minecraft Automation has a different series. It's changing. We're starting a new world. Um, it got deleted. Sorry. So, three, two, one. Let's go. It's loading. It took so long, it's loading. Oh, here comes everything. Just check my settings, get myself all set up here. Frame rate. 30, although I'd be surprised getting it at that stage. Yeah, so a bit slight showy at the moment, but it should change soon. Put it down to 10. Right, let's see how we do. Whoops. Let everything load. Okay. Now I'm going to show you the frame rate on this. Half a tree. Okay. That looks like a chunk error. Oh no! I might be loading up. I'm going to reload the world, I'll be back. Okay, and as if by magic the sheep are not... I've now got an above ground home. We have a very nice starting point here, very nice indeed. I am playing, by the way, in the new pre-release. Today's going to be a bit kind of sticky, laggy, load up the world, but I apologise, I'll try and keep it to, try and keep it as good as I can. It's episode 24, 23, and we're starting a new world, unfortunately. I'm going to make much, I know I always say I'll make backups, but it's like, every two episodes are just too out of date to use, and it was time to get a new world anyway. We had everything done, except killing the ender dragon, but this, that will happen in this world, I promise. Let's go on down here. Oh, I like the look of that. Let me see about that. Let me see what's going on down here, because I like the look of it. Oops. Just make sure I get lots of this stone, because if, if you're starting a new world, you will run out of stone, like when you need tools, and it will be annoying. So make sure you get lots of stone. Make lots of tools. I found iron already, which is good, but you can't mine it until you get a stone pickaxe, so make sure you get your stone... your cobblestone. Okay, the plans for this let's play above ground. <laughs> Definitely above ground. At least above ground, if not like in the sky, to avoid building another cave. I've built a few caves in the past and they've always looked okay, like, I think the one I had last time looked quite good. But this time the mission is to... I'm going to be doing this thing from a guy on YouTube that I'm subscribed to. I think I'm subscribed to him, if not I'll subscribe. He's called Mumble Jumble. He's really good. He does his Hermitcraft videos, which are a really good server. Um, he does this thing called a mining challenge where he goes mining for an hour. And people in the description, get in the comments, sorry, guess how much he gets. And then he kind of sometimes time lapses and stuff. I don't think I can be quite that posh and time lapse it. But I am going to do a mining challenge for you. No. So I'm trying new things in this world, definitely. That's what I'll call it. I'm trying new things. Digging deeper, literally. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you in an hour. Okay, so the hour has been. I have done well. I have been doing some digging. <laughs> Quite some digging in that time. I've also explored some caves in the area. Like the one I'm in. This is all at level 11, by the way. I'm only kidding. I was luckier than that, but I wasn't that lucky. This is what I got. Three... about... I'm gonna go with about four stacks of iron, because I've still got five cooking. Wait, sorry. One... Yeah, I'm going to go with three stacks, sorry. I've got lots of redstone. Good amount of gold ore. Diamonds, eight. Not great. That rhymes, yay. But anyway, I'm going up to the surface. I'm going to build a 
We're going to build a sugarcane farm today. Automatic one. I'm sure everybody will like. So everybody likes that because it's really cool. Oops. I did kind of get lazy on coal during the hour long mining thing because I just couldn't be bothered collecting it. That's pretty much the size of it. I just could not be bothered. I had yeah, I don't want to waste my time on coal. I mean, think what else is out there. So, this is how I get up. I just kind of go to the top here. Climb around a bit. Come up to the top. So, I like these mining challenges and I think I'm going to do them. Hope everybody guessed accurately in the description. <laughs> oh, more iron and a creeper. These things have got smarter. They blow up further away from me and there are more of them. Ah! Ah! No! So, a creeper going to eat me now. Yay! Got it! Right, okay. Coal, I just walk by because, like, basically, I've got enough for now. And when I get an efficiency 5 a diamond pickaxe, a fortune 3 that I can easily repair, then I will worry about it. But as you can see, the caves are absolutely full. I mean, you saw me make this world, it's not customised, nothing's ramped up. These are. This is absolutely genuine. And. It's amazing. There's so much stuff. I didn't have to go very far afield at all in the caves. You see, I've left all this unexplored. It isn't like me because I felt you might think I'm cheating because it's so good. Which I'm not. Because I wouldn't cheat. Because I value my viewers more than that. I value the fact that people view my videos much more than that. And I wouldn't cheat. So you see, I've kind of let it up in patches. I've not let all of it up. I've let some of it up. This iron's been bothering me. It's iron you need at the start. You know, once you get your iron, you're doing alright. But I've pretty much been taking all the measures to go up. Like this thing, this is great, this water stream. It may not seem great, but it is great. I don't have a lot of time to record the rest of this video, so I'm probably going to make the wheat farm and the sugarcane farm off camera. They're not automatic, but they're. The wheat farm isn't going to be, but it'll be good. It'll be a good harvest when it is, when it works. Raining. Night time. Oh great. And I left my wool down at the bottom. String, I have four. So any spiders? Oh wait, there's a sheep there. I can make shears. I can't kill any more sheep. Because I was eating mutton earlier. And I'm going to have no sheep left if I do. Plenty. Oops. They're all clever, the mobs now. There's no like, oh, zombies are smart, the skeletons are thick. They are not. They're as thick as a piece of paper. They're intelligent. They're sharp as attack. They're sharp as attacks that you always end up sitting on. Or is that just me? Anyway. So. As you can see, I'm not really very well prepared here. I'm in a bit of a scramble. But I have been growing sugarcane as well, which are faster. I'm surprised to say are faster. I need three bow and arrows for this farm. Definitely. Three bow and arrows. Well, three full ones. I need lots of string, which I've just used up, which isn't very good. But that's okay. We'll continue. In fact, I'm just going to use pistons. That's good enough for me. I am not a, I'm not above using pistons for that. Or making chests on camera. That's also acceptable in my mind. Everybody has to do it. This is like how my houses start and then they get decent. Like you wouldn't welcome anybody into a house that I've built. I also died a few times. So when things missing that's why. I had some creeper incidents. And I still got tons of stuff. I'm I've done this thing now dude. I just make so many tools. But anyway I'll be back. I'm gonna get myself together and I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so I think it's just how it's meant to be in Minecraft, but why do they make- It's probably a very important game mechanic in Notch's- Oops, forgot about that. In Notch's big plan. But why, oh why, do you have to go mining in the most dangerous place with lava surrounding you with the most expensive and difficult to get pickaxe? Something I don't understand. So here's my obsidian here that I bumped into and I need ten. And you're probably going to watch this sped up. So I'm speeding up now.
Oh, one too many, come on. Right, anyway, so I'm gonna go back up the top and I'll see you later. It happened again, just as I mentioned a creeper. Here they come. I guess wood collecting at night really isn't intelligent. I might have forgotten, like, the fundamentals of Minecraft. Well, I used to think, oh, at night time, better stay inside or I'll die. And now I just think, I just brave it now and think nothing. Oh, where have my axes gone? There's a shovel there. Granite there. That just got blown up. How? Don't even understand. Right. Plenty of spiders. I'm going to slay them. So I can make bowls and make proper dispensers for this thing because I think that'll be better for everybody. All the strafing I've found is the best way to deal with the zombies because they can't strafe very quickly. Spiders can do all everything and get in every oops the daisies. Problems Problem oops. Big problem, big problems. Ah <laughs> Bail run Go away. Go away. <laughs> And then I only actually have to kill... Right, yep, I'm fine, because in the daytime... Oops, don't drop anything. Oops. See, in the daytime, the zombies will burn, and the spiders will be nice to me. So I'm going to be back in a minute, because I don't think this is too difficult a situation to defuse now. I've just got to kill a zombie. Are you standing still? There we go. So I'll see you in the morning. The holy apple! I need this. For food. I'm going to eat it right now. It's a big juicy apple. Very nice. And that will signal the start of our building. So, just check I'm recording. I'll just get my settings right because I don't feel right when I'm recording at 18 frames per second. And I'm sure you don't either. It's when I face this way. There's something going on over here. Some secrets over there. Because over here it's dirty. Oh, you're at 35 when I've limited it to 30, which is interesting. But anyway, that's not probably not what you're interested in. So I need 10 pistons. There's plenty there. As is that. And that. So I need 10. I need some of Kami's uh, mods for <laughs> easier clicking. I'm going to need some repeaters, which means I'm going to, have to probably have to cook some stone. Yeah, I'll cook quite a lot, because I need a lot of that, because I need 10, so I need to cook 30 stone. The difficulties of Minecraft is actually quite difficult. Right, so I have harvested the sugarcane and spread out. I have harvested this and saved the seeds. And I got 13 wheat, which I'm quite happy with, because I did get some bones. I didn't die. But I'm going to make a sword just in case I do because I'll feel silly. I'm well upgraded to iron tools, definitely. Don't expect many stone tools, many more stone tools to be made. But if need be, then well, there's not much I can do. So, oops. For everybody out there that doesn't know how to make a redstone repeater, this is how you do it. You make some torches. I'm going to need to make 20, so that's just a bit silly that I didn't make all of them, but that's okay. I'm a wee bit kind of tight on materials here, I must say. Put 10 in there, and then you put those in the bottom and make these here. It's a shame, I like to run these on daylight sensors, but I could do that. Because I do have diamonds. And I could go to the nether, but I just feel that's a bit early, so I'm just going to put it a timer. No, I can't make the timer. I'm going to put it on a switch for now, anyway. Or I can't even make a bud switch. Is... I'm going to go to the nether and make a daylight sensor, actually. So, I'll see you soon. I'll not be long. Um, I'm going to go to get ready to go to the nether. Okay, so I think it's just how it's meant to be in Minecraft. But why do they make... It's probably a very important game mechanic in Notch's... Oops, forgot about that. In Notch's big plan. But why, oh why, do you have to go mining in the most dangerous place with lava surrounding you? 
with the most expensive and difficult to get pickaxe. Something I don't understand. So here's my obsidian here that I bumped into and I need 10. And you're probably going to watch this sped up. So I'm speeding up now. Welcome back everybody. I have built a wheat farm. Sorry, I have expanded the wheat farm, got some carrots from a zombie and expanded that. Harvested it a few times and now I've got 35 bread. But most importantly, the sugarcane farm is now done. And I know it's not, it doesn't look great. It's, per it's not permanent. But from this sugarcane thing I've got going on over here, which is pretty big. Oops, missed a bit. I have been putting it all together into this chest. I'll explain how this works in a second. Putting it all together into here. This is how much I've got. So much sugar cane I have accumulated. In about a day. <laughs> I left it on for a day. So uh, yeah, that's about it. Um, now all that's left to do is show you. I made a nether portal. And the nether's quite good, but there's no fortress. I just got some quartz quickly for the uh, daylight sensor. We'll be through this soon. So all that's left to do is explain how this works. How it works is I'm gonna just make, quickly make a button. I did not have a sticky piston to make the traditional monostable circuit. So I decided I would just make this kind of thing I saw. You see how it works there? Because see when a pulse comes in like that, it blocks that and then it goes away, it does that. That harvest, some of the sugar cane has come flying out of this in the oddest of places. But it harvests some of it. So as you can see, that's it. But anyway, thank you everybody for watching. I'll see you in the next one, episode 2. This has been Black Shoes and I hope you enjoyed the episode, because I did.